Skill 1, Establishing and Transferring Command. This is a scenario-based skill in which you will demonstrate procedures for establishing and transferring command at a hazardous material or terrorism incident, utilizing an incident management system. To accomplish this, you will be provided with a Local Emergency Response Plan, or LERP, a scenario, an Emergency Response Guide, or ERG, and a tactical worksheet. With that, you are expected to provide a brief size-up of units on scene, location, the nature of the incident, and current conditions. Report the current conditions in terms of, this is what I see. Be sure to include the type and quantity of containers and specifics of the location, such as nearby exposures and risks. Identify the material using the ID number on the placard. Next. Identify the isolation zones using the isolation distances recommended in the ERG for the specific product. Implement the appropriate emergency operations based on your findings. Isolate and deny entry as directed in the ERG. Implement a site safety and control plan. Name the incident. Establish incident command. Designate a safety officer. This role may be assumed by the incident commander until enough personnel have arrived on scene. Transfer command when necessary and according to your department guidelines. Some of these actions may include the following. Identify the material. Identify the isolation zone. Describe current emergency operations, such as evacuation, shelter in place, and product control. Describe site and safety control plan. Detail current assignments and location of resources. All crews should report back to command confirming completion of assignment.